What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to my Pokemon Y Wonderlock. This one being episode number two. So if you guys missed out on episode number one, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description or I'll probably throw it in a playlist or something of that jazz. But in the last episode, what happened was we, um, obviously we named ourselves. We picked our gender, which is always a hard choice. Uh, met up with the bays, went to the next town over, caught a town. Uh, we had like a little lunch date, got together, got to know each other. Um, we got hooked up with the Pokedex, got to choose our starter, which is Flare, as you guys can see on the layout, you see a little Flare bobbing, bobbing his head, just like this. But yeah, uh, we got Flare, and um, pretty much that's all she wrote, we got some, got some medication, got some Pokeballs, ready for this next patch of grass that you guys can see just up the background there. Um, but yeah, so in today's episode, what we're going to try and do is um, make our way through Centillion Forest. Um, and obviously in that next patch of grass we will have our first wonder trade uh, to deal with if we can catch the Pokemon in the next route. Well with that further ado, let's go. Let's um let's continue the LP. So yeah, we're down here, we're in a Corday town. Got some goods. And let's go. Oh route number two, so first route. First chance for an encounter, but let's yeah, let's just show um, flare off just one more time so you guys can see from the last episode I have not done anything. Um, so yeah, flare level six, scratch tower whip and ember is a relaxed nature and awesome. Alrighty, so let's go. Let's go. Let's knock the volume up just on my headset, just a smidge. Alrighty. Here we go. Please be something easy. Nice and easy. We got a Pidgey. Okay. We have a Pidgey. Go Flare. So we don't want to knock it out. We just want to do a little bit of damage. Please. Don't kill. Oh my god. Did I, I just do a speed boost? How did I get that? Speed boost open. I didn't even like, oh, I guess I went online because I just tested the Wi-Fi before I started the episode to make sure that everything was all good to go, uh, which it wasn't. We actually had to do a system update to be able to get online. Okay, so that's doing three. Tackle's doing three. So let's go into the bag, let's get the Pokeball out, use, if you get Pidgey, you're mine. Ooh. Three. Yeah. There we go, guys. So it is time. It is time to do our first one to trade and uh, see what we can get for the team. So yeah, the one, uh, the one, one lock starts once you're able to buy Poke Walls and have them in your uh, bag. So you can just catch Pokemon. So pretty much right now is when it starts. Um, if I die, it's a good game. And yeah, um, so we're not gonna nickname Pidgey because it's gonna get one and trade it off. She's all G. Alrighty, so let's go. Let's get online and let's see what we can get. The rap music's not too bad. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. But yeah, coming up next, I think we've got Shauna there. That's going to do the classic uh, teach us how to catch a Pokemon, which we already know how to, obviously, if we've uh, just caught that Pidgey. But let's go into Wonder Trade. Cool, yes, I do want to start Wonder Trade. Pidgey. Trade. Yes. There you go guys, let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get today. Wonder how long it's gonna take on the uh, good old Wi-Fi to find someone. Love the one to trade music. Absolutely love it. The suspense is real right now. Come on one to trade. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Redig O Power Ourself from Brazil. From Brazil, you guys. What do you have for us today? From Brazil, all the way from Brazil. Uh, oh, we got a gimbal. We got a gimbal. 
That is so hot. That is so hot. Please be like level eight. Because we're allowed to use it as long as it's within 10 levels above um, max. So we've got a level 6 Fennekin. So what is it? <laughs> Let's go check out the Gibble that we just received from Wonder Trade. That is epic. That is epic. So let's go Pokemon. Check Gibble. It's level 1. So it was breeded, obviously, and hatched from an egg. Um, so the Pidgey that we traded off was level 3. So I had to rare candy this one up to level 3. Because that's how I'm working this one a lot. Whatever we want to trade it to, if we receive lower, it's going to get rare candied up to... Um, ooh, a higher, like, the equal level. But yeah, so we've got... Tackle, Thrash, Outrage, and Iron Head. That is a pretty sweet moveset. Has the uh, ability Sand Bower, which boosts the Pokemon's evasion in a sandstorm. Dragon Ground, obviously. So we got up on attack and lowered special attack. So it is a physical gibble. That is an adam yeah, adamant nature. So it's a physical gibble. And yeah, that is crazy. Characteristics is mischievous. Check that, you guys. The, man, the luck is coming through. It is a female gibble female gibble epic so i'll just quickly while we're here um i did while um while i was off cam i did um get the rare candy so as you guys can see pokeballs is down one because he just caught the pidgey which is now the gibble but i did get the rare candies to do the aspect that i just mentioned and potions are still the same as you guys can see my bag has not been altered in any other way so it's all still legit so let's get these rare candies we want to use it on Gibble to get Gibble to level 3. Awesome, and it wants to land Sand Attack. I'm sorry, Gibble, you're not landing Sand Attack. Awesome, and that's it. That's all she wrote. Cool, so let's continue on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hi, Big A. Come learn how to catch Pokemon with me. Serena's mum and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well, mum and dad may be good, but that has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch carefully, you two. Okay, so we learned how to catch a Pokemon, even though we just caught a Pokemon. It's all, it's all good, guys. It's all a part of the game. You little Fletchling. Level 5. Level 5 Fletchling. See, it's strange. Like, I remember back in like Gen 2 how they like didn't even weaken it. It was dead set. Just throw up over all and off you go. So it's pretty crazy. So yeah, we're going to try to keep these episodes to um, a maximum of like 20 to 30 minutes long. Um, and what I wanted to do with these episodes is I wanted to have at least two a week. I, I really want to push for three, but two a week should be almost guaranteed. So as of this one going live, it should go live about, around about the same time as what episode one did, a week in ahead of time. Um, and then from there on, I want to try um, just, yeah, you get two, two episodes a week. But yeah, let's go. Wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball. Shauna, what do you think Chespin is inside of right now? <laughs> yeah, I'll share some Pokeballs with you, the two of you. So we got some extra Pokeballs, that's always good. We need that. Pokeballs, <laughs> singing. Do you think I can catch Pokemon with them too? Sure, you can catch Pokemon around here just by throwing Pokemon near them. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it. And then we'll become friends. Stop singing, Shauna. I want to slap you. When you catch wild Pokemon, it makes your po your Pokemon stronger too. Good luck. Good luck. Cool. What do you want, woman? Yeah, okay. So yeah, we've already encountered Pokemon here, so this... I might just um, get some XP off this Scatterbug. Um, but yeah. So, so we'll just continue into the Sandloon Forest, I believe, which is up next. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, Scatterbug. Awesome. Awesome, so let's go. Charge, okay. Why are you looking at me, boy? 
<laughs> Let's go. Ding. I mean, train his eyes, meet is time to battle. Yeah, whatever. Younger Austin. Youngster Austin. Look at his head, it's kind of like flicking up like this. Go Zigzagoon. Classic Hoenn. Hoenn Zigzagoon. I was really uh, expecting a Zigzagoon from the Wonder Trade just then. I didn't expect uh, to receive power just then. We actually just received straight power. But coming up in the forest, we also have another Wonder Trade coming up with the uh, first encounter in there as well. So that's pretty epic. And from what I remember, I believe Shauna follows you, so... We should be sweet. Oh, there we go. Get the burn. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Hacks coming through. Hacks coming through. Yeah, but yeah, Shauna follows us, so we should be able to heal there. So I won't waste any time going back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, some HP's going up nicely. Excellent. Thanks, Austin. I really appreciate the XP and the cash. Get robbed. Like, yeah, I beat you. Now give me your wallet. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. So Shauna is going to come come along for the ride. I'll heal your Pokemon. Heal me. Heal me, woman. Alrighty. So what's this? A potion. I need that. Thank you. Thank you, Sandalin Forest. But yes, so encounter number two is coming up right here, you guys. Oh, where should we go? What's going to be the lucky patch? Oh, we'll just go up near this item and then we'll collect that after as well. Here we go. Oh, Pampor. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Please don't have water gun. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This could be bad if it has water gun. Do I risk it? Or do I risk losing flesh straight up? This could be bad. Oh. Please, no, 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 oh, okay. Whew. Yep, leave me all you want. Because even Gibble can't even... This is scary. This is really scary. It could be over very quickly if I can't get um S Stop playing with each other. God damn it. These are both boys too. God damn. Okay, do we go for one more? Yeah, I think we can go for one more because barely doing anything. And then we can try and get this capture. Please do not have water gun. If you have water gun, I'm going to cry. Because now we've got two scratches off on us as well. Oh, we got 19 Pokeballs now, so we got 10 from um, from Shauna. Oh, it wasn't the one with Shauna, it was the other, other chick. Can't even remember her name. Nice. That worked out perfectly, you guys. Oh, man, that was scary. Because, yeah, I've got a really heavy water weakness right now. <sighs> Breath of fresh air. Breath of fresh air. These intense moments in the first couple of, like, once we can get settled in and get, like, a, a, um, kind of balance of a team going, would be sweet. But goddamn, that was scary. Whew. But yeah, once we get to a name raider, we'll, um, give all these Pokemon nicknames. Um, the one that traded Pokemon, hopefully. I don't, I actually, probably can't, can't even do that. But that's okay. That is all good. So let's go into one trade. And it's time for V2. So what was it? A level 4 Pampor. So we're hoping for something that is... Um, what is it? Uh, level 18 or lower. But yeah, let's go. So we got Pampor here. Ooh, and this is the fun part. This is the gamble. It's like... um. We just cracked into a pack, and uh, we're uh, hoping for that ultra rare goodness. But the sus suspense builder is real. 
Awesome, let's trade yellow one from the United States, Ohio. What are you doing up? It's pretty late. It's pretty late for you at the moment. It's like mid-afternoon for me in Australia at the moment. So that's like a late night, late night wonder trade sesh. Ooh, Taylor, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Still not, um, still not anything good against, um, well, resistance to water type. But yellow one's a pretty cool nickname. Not bad. Yellow shout out to Yellow Swallow. Yellow one. Not bad. Not bad. Awesome. So, uh, what do we got? We got a potion. I might even, or oh, I might get Fennekin to level 10. So what, lo what level was that? Let's have a look at Taylor. So we got a level 8 Taylor, so that works out well as well for us. Just for obedience and all that sort of stuff. Brave bird. Dang. Okay. So we've got a um, a tailor. It's got guts. Boost attack. Um, boost the attack stat if the Pokemon has a status condition. Um, so we up special defense, but lower normal defense. So is that good or is that bad? Yeah. No, that's pretty good because at least we have the potential of surviving some sort of uh, a slightly weaker electric attack. Um, that's special, obviously. Uh, but yeah, cool. And it's a gentle nature. Gentle nature. From a faraway place. Okay. And it likes to fight. That's good. Awesome addition to the team. We've got a yellow one. What else? What else can we get from here? So we've got another item here. But we've been rudely interrupted by a pants age. So we got the monkeys. Good old monkeys. R.I.P. Pantsage. My apologies. So yeah, it's pretty cool how they, I don't know, they gave it out in like black and, black and white, which I kind of didn't like, but at the same time it wasn't too bad. But he, like legit, like in the very next kind of game, oh well, next generation, they put it in the forest of the, yeah, the first forest in the game. So that's pretty cool. What do you got to say for yourself? This way leads to a dead end, huh? Alright, I guess I have to save my progress, so don't forget what I've done so far. Okay, you do that. You do that. Run. Okay, yeah. So that's the way out. Heal me, woman. Okay, so what do you want, lady? Nothing there. They're all running away from me, goddamn. First, I'll observe. What are you observing? If you're Pokemon weak, you should use a potion. No, I've got Shauna here for that. Youngster challenge you to, to a battle. So if I'm not mistaken... Oh, hang on one second, Big A. Look what I found, Big A. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you think. A paralyzed heal. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Shauna going out of your way to like run a couple of steps into the grass for me so I believe this is youngster Joey I believe I believe this is the XY youngster Joey and it is in fact youngster Joey cool with a scatterbug go flare so I'm maining with flare so I'm um, I'm thinking I might do a little bit of a grinding sesh with Gibble to get Gibble up to like, I'm at like level 6, something a little bit more usable, a bit more reasonable, because yeah, Taylor and Flare are all sweet to go, but then we got little Gibble here, let's just, yeah, holding the team back, let's, let's send Taylor out, um, oh, I guess it was from Yellow One, we should call it Yellow One, that'd be pretty cool, if we can, if we can rename, I can't remember if you can rename traded Pokemon or not, you probably can't. <laughs> oh, that's brave bird. Oh dear. Get wrecked. <laughs> Level 8 Taylor wrecking house. Oh. That recoil though. <laughs> oh wow, that is that is crazy. So that could be that attack could be really good or it could be really bad. But that is my timer saying that uh, 
we're heading on towards the 20 minute mark. So I'm going to have to look at wrapping up this episode really shortly. Um, so heal me woman. Oh, uh, Tiana's caught up. Excellent. Let's stop this timer. And we'll have to look into wrapping up this episode very shortly. Let's see if we can get out the forest and we'll leave it there for that one for episode 2. Because yeah, these episodes are probably going to take a little bit longer than what I expected due to the wonder trading. It takes a little bit to um, get the wonder trades off. But that is all good. That is all good. Just means that I'll potentially be able to like crush some more recording and um, yeah, get some more episodes flowing. Maybe even get um, the three episodes a week kind of flow going, which should be pretty, pretty fun. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying uh, this Wonderlock so far, be sure to drop a like down below. Oh, Pikachu. Pikachu, that's interesting. I wonder if I should give, give Gibble, Gibble a go on the field. I don't know if I want to risk it while Gibble's so low. I love that Pikachu, like, speaks. Unlike every other Pokemon as well, that's pretty cool. It's like, Pika Pika! Yeah, there you go. That's that's pretty cool. I do like that. Damn. Get slapped. I got a car. <laughs> I get a car. I love that. That's pretty cool. I reckon they should do that more often with like, I don't know. Or even add some like movements to the, the Pokemon while they're um, on the field. So you have the battle animation, but then also like make your Pokemon like kind of like jump or sway or something like that. Come on, get me out of this forest. Get me out of here! Scatterbug, I may as well get some XP off you. Excellent. So yeah, the Pokemon being traded as well could be a good thing for grinding too, because um, we can get the um, quick XP. Uh, damn it, I knew I knew she wanted to battle. So I wasn't sure if I should just leave that for uh, next episode. Because we definitely have to start wrapping this one up to keep to the 20, 20, 25, 30 minute mark kind of episode. So you got Weedle. Little Weedle. I wonder if I had it on shift or set for the battle. Oh, I got it on shift. Cool. Let's send out Gibble. Because I think these were... I, well, that Weedle was level 3, I think it was. So, Gibble should have some sort of a chance here. Against Bunnelby. Oh, level 4. We will see. Outrage? Yeah, we should outrage. <laughs> My defense fell. Okay, so one more turn. Agility! That animation though, Bunnaby is like standing still and she's like. <laughs> Alrighty. Awesome, so Gibble got her first win. I was like, is it here or her? Boosted XP and a level. That well that helps. At this rate, Gibble may not even need to get grinded up a little bit, because that boosted XP could come back and slap us in the face with um, when we can't control Gibble. What's down here? An item? We got a Pokeball? Awesome. More than merrier, I say. Especially if we, um... Uh, well, later on in the game when we encounter the legends. But once we get out of the forest, we'll wrap up today's episode. Look, we'll just get this item. Oh, cool. So we've seen all the monkeys in this episode. We've seen uh, Pampor first, Pansage second, and now we've seen, seen Panseer. Um, I'm just gonna run from this one. So we can, uh, yeah, get out of here. But let's go. Another potion. Awesome. So obviously we're getting prepped up for this next gym as well. So we got heaps. We need heaps of potions. And is it a monkey? No, it's a scatterbug. Okay. Let's be strategic. Let's get the XP. It's just so easy. I see the type of advantage. It's like I have to KO this Pokemon just to get that XP. Excellent. 
Oh, you're serious. It always, it always happens on that last little patch of grass when you're just trying to just get out. The monkey, like, it's a monkey. Like, what do I expect? It, it is a monkey. And it's going to get KO'd. Dude, Flair is putting in the finest work in this episode. Like, legit. What's that? Level 10. Okay. So we definitely need to move on to uh, training someone else. Oh, I guess, I think the next gym is heading on towards the f level 15 mark. So let's go. Out we go. Excellent. So you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor is someone with a lot of potential. The way Pokemon move, it's just incredible. I want to show off my Pokemon, uh, show off some of that spirit when I dance. Tiono. Could you think about it? <laughs> something besides how Pokemon move for once? Look at that face. Look at Tiano's face. It's just like... <laughs> oh my god. And now it's like... Now it's serious. Alright, let's get out of here. But as a group, we got the we got the gang. Bay's on my left. Boy's on my right. What are you all going to do? Why look for Pokemon, of course. Same, same. The professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex, after all. And furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. To put it another way, it's a chance to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet different Pokemon will use different moves. I'm, I sure want to see lots of moves. What are you going to do, Serena? I'm going to go to Settling City's gym and challenge the gym leader. You see, Pokemon trainers find out how good they really are by challenging the leaders in Pokemon gyms. Wow, you sure, sure know a lot. Common knowledge. It's because mum and dad taught me so much. Here, I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down 10 different tips every trainer should know. Here's one for you. Cheers. I appreciate it, but I'm not going to read it. I'm not reading it. Give her a rest, Rena. Hey, this is great. I'm going to spend some time getting to know my little chest pin. What are you going to do, Big A? Get out of here. <laughs> awesome. So we're up to Route 3, which means in the next episode, we could potentially have an encounter. And then we've got battles as well. So we're going to wrap, today, wrap up today's episode here. If you guys enjoyed episode 2 of my Pokemon Y Wonderlog going down on the channel, be sure to drop a like down below. And yeah, so in the next episode, we, we, we will be looking forward to more Wonder Trading. We'll head into Santa Loon City, uh, potentially challenge the gym, and all that good stuff. So yeah, look forward to that. And I look forward to seeing you guys in episode 3, or another one of my Pokemon Trading Card Game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.